Hello and welcome to Provisiona SR's webinar. This time our webinar will be about the application. Provision ISRs came to app. So all you have to do is to sit back and enjoy the ride. Let's begin. First of all, we know the world is progressing all the time and every company today have an app, have an application. We too. But we took it one step forward and we try to give almost full control over the NVR, over the recorders that we have from the application itself. So bear it, be, bear it with me and let's see slowly and easily and comfortably what are the capabilities of our application. So let's start. First of all, this is the button to choose an NVR where it says demo room NVR. This is where I choose my NVR. Now one press over those arrows will give me the cameras from the NVR, the first nine cameras. A second press will give me the other nine. Very easy, very intuitive and simple to use. So let's go back to the first nine and now let's begin. So of course we have split screen mode, we have one, we have four, we have nine and we have some special others if we want this picture in picture mode or maybe uh, like uh, in the old days that we have uh, security guards with one main camera and the other split around now another cool thing that we can do is we can choose a different NVR or a DVR in this case DND is off now okay perfect let's put it on once again sorry so no one bugs us okay now we chose a different DVR while the other NVR plays in the background and now we can take pictures from the other DVR and put them together so basically right now I can take more ca cameras from different devices up until 16 different devices and combine them all to one picture and then I can go ahead, by the way I press these little three dots in the bottom right, I can press this button and then add it to my favorites by only pressing the red plus. You can see next to the group name there is red plus. I say that because it is not possible from the app even though I can do like this, but never mind. Okay, let's press plus. Now remember this, uh, this layout, okay, and layout of, I don't know, four, 8, 10, 11 cameras I think it is. Now let's quickly close everything. Let's put one, I don't know, and go into the uh, favorites. And I have group one, pressing the play. And voila, we have exactly the same layout from exactly those two different devices. Meaning, I don't, I don't have to re-put all the cameras that I've uh, chosen in before. I don't have to put them once again all over and over again when I start the application every time, uh, you know, from the beginning. So let's continue. Now the next thing I want to, to show you is uh, basically, I like it more in the eye, this is the server list. Now the server list is um, it's pretty noticeable what it does. It shows me the devices that are in my uh, application, okay. But what's so special about it is that I can gain all of the information that I want, all of, that, all of the information that is possible to get from my devices in the press of a button. Now, what do, I, what do I mean? First of all, I can see that I have four different devices, but I can see that each and every one of them is connected right now. I can see that because that I have this green mark, if you can see right there. Okay, I see that the devices are connected. Now, what can I do from here? First of all, I can press this button and access immediately the live preview. The very intuitive, very simple. I can do that for every other NVR, it doesn't, uh, doesn't really matter. So, next thing I can do, I can press the I button and get all of the information, not part of, but all of the information that I would have get by pressing the I button on the NVR itself. So it doesn't matter if it is the basic info, if I need the firmware version or the, or the build date, the device name, if I need the network info, whether it is the IP address or the, uh, I don't know, the ports or the disk information to see how many disks I have, what is the 
current amount of disk that uh, remaining space everything is uh, is available in the press of a button now the next and uh, most important thing that we can do is the thing that we like to do in the modern world we like to share so what do we exactly want to share from here now this one we should do with extra caution because we don't want to share our QR code into everyone by just pressing that button I can see immediately my QR code and I can share it by pressing the upper right button I press it I can search it I can send it via WhatsApp or message or any other communications uh, application that I have on my phone without a problem I can even print it by the way if I have a Wi-Fi printer just print it and put it in the just hang it outside your store which which sells pictures and every person that want to see I don't know immediate photos from those pictures just scan it and and just immediately connect to your uh, to your uh, to this to your CCTV system if you have this agenda of course don't just print it out to burglars okay next thing I want to show you well this is a uh, another idea actually now each and every one of our system have the ability uh, to to operate relay okay relay system now even though it is a CCTV system we still have relays relay outs now it doesn't matter if we connected to those relays through IP camera or if they are a part of the back of the NVR we can still access them let's give an example of that NVR because I know that this one has relays view it uh, uh, through his uh, IP cameras that are connected to it now how do we operate those relays those alarm outputs basically all we have to do is to press these three dots those are, they, these three dots are the keys for everything pressing manual alarm and immediately you can see all of the triggers all of the alarms that are connected to my NVR through camera or uh, physically into the back of the NVR so when, we, when you find one you want to open if you want to open a door or activate a siren or activate an alarm or do whatever you want you can just press it and then clear it once you finished as easy as that as simple as that so basically it means that I can open a door from here uh, I, I, I can sit here and open a door in the other side of the world so next thing I want to show you is uh, the most powerful tool that I think uh, an application can have so what exactly am I talking about let's see first of all we start with pressing yes you write the three buttons here and now we're going to press add a new person now what exactly does that mean it means that right now I'm going to have my camera open up camera on my phone now I can take a picture of me or someone else or doesn't matter who give it a name give it a birthplace or whatever and give it a group now each every one of these groups is not a group that is exist on my phone these are the groups that exist basically those are the databases that exist on my NVR so once I added a person into that group you can just imagine the power that I have in this tool basically I can add this person and allow him to let's say enter my workplace let's say that my camera is uh, is, uh, is opening the door for all of the people that are on this allow list allow list one you see it so the the camera will open the door so I took a picture of my friend that I want to allow to access to my workplace just press save and immediately I send the picture into the NVR into the database of the NVR as simple as that of course you can do the same from galleries inside your phone if you don't have uh, this person right next to you so next thing I'm going to show you is how to we saw how to add a person let's now search for a person now what do you think am I capable or not capable of searching myself through the application let's try so once you see once it becomes blue line the line that surrounds me becomes blue immediately I can start search 
from records of today and I can see that they have five different records. So let's see what we have here. 751, this is me with the ugly hat. There we go. And we have another record. We have another record of myself entering. Very nice. So very powerful tool. Of course, we can see it over here also. No mistakes, those are the same face all the time. Now, what if we want to search for someone, but we are not next to him right now. We want to search for him, but we have his picture on the phone. So we just access our phone and choose the correct picture, which is some picture that we know uh, that is someone that, is, uh, that we want to search for. Now, it can be a student in the university that we have a lot of cameras in. It can be someone in the city that we know that we have spread the cameras around the city. So this time we're going to choose our uh, a victim, Yuval. So let's search for him. Now, while I search, I'm going to tell you that uh, basically the, the application making a search throughout the entire uh, a gallery of today. Okay. Let's see some examples, main passage camera. I can see Uva, there he is. Let's see another record. There he is once again. So basically on the left, I have the name of the camera that captured him. So I have a lot of camera, a lot of captures that came from the same camera, main passage, but I have one from face attendance. So let's see. There he is, face attendance cam, and there is Yuval. And we have another camera, we have, uh, main passage or oh, sales department there he is once again Yuval no mistakes no mistakes at all so this is a great powerful tool that we can search for anyone in our system from everywhere now the next scenario I want you to see is uh, we just search for a person straight from the snapshot camera of our phone the next uh, thing we showed was how to search for a person from the gallery, from the photos that we have saved on our phone already. And the next thing that I want to show you is how to search for someone by its name. Now, assuming that we already entered, we inserted this person into our database, so we have his name, right? So in this case, we have a lot of names. We got prepared. So let's say Kobe, okay? We have Shmulik, Mark, Kobe, Arik, Duka. We have a lot of people. Let's search for Kobe, he's one of the employees here. And let's see how many times he got captured today. So you saw one click, uh, half a second passed, and then I see immediate results. Let's see, let's say for this camera, there he is. There is Kobe, of course, that from here I can do whatever I want, taking snapshots, record a video, which will be recorded via AVI, so uh, MP4, so I can send it immediately through WhatsApp and everything. Um, very powerful tool, very easy to use. Uh, I can see all of the records. Of course, I can see the similarity in the right uh, bar. You can see 100% of similarity until 77%. Now, more than that, I can press this button right in the upper right corner. Now, if I press it, you will see that I can see all of the results today, the 22nd of March 2020. I can see all of the results. I can see that he has been to the main passage from 8, 20 and 8 seconds until 8, 20 and 15 seconds. I can see same thing for the sales office. Basically, all of today's results, all of today's results are going to be here. Now, if I press it once again, I will see a trace playback. which is basically like a slide view on PowerPoint when we have a slide after slide after slide so we can see all of the events occurring one after another. Very simple to use, very easy. So, next thing, the next thing we are going to see is, let's go back and back and back. Uh, let's go for playback, huh? So, okay, I'm sorry, I did that too quickly. Now, this is the playback button. The playback button is right down there. You see it turning red? 
Okay, once you press it, this is playback mode. Once I'm here, the, the rest is very, very easy. All you have to do is to press on this button, then you will see your um, devices. Of course, you have, we have four of them. Now, the devices that are painted red, they are the devices that are currently shows that we have records on. Now, let's choose, for example, let's choose the DVR showroom. Now, once you press this one, we have the list of cameras. Okay, one until eight. Let's make a quicker view, uh, more easy to see for channel view. And we press camera number one, camera number two, camera number three, camera number four. Now, I see that on camera number one, I don't have any records, so let's choose another camera. Now, after doing that, of course, I can play with the records with the time. So once I play with the time, I can see immediate, and it's very immediate, change of photos according to the time that I've selected. I can pinch in and out and play with it back and forth and forth and back. And of course, right now, I see only the events on this camera that's surrounded by um, a red line. If I choose this one, I can see the events that regarding to this camera or this camera or this camera of course so on this camera which is on the outside we can see a lot of motion so of course that I can filter out the results only by motion or manually or sensor I did that by pressing on this button everything is super easy so right now I can see only the motion results of course from every camera and um, not only that the special thing I can do here is let's for example choose a split of nine cameras now what I can do is I can choose a different NVR now remember that we are right now in a playback mode it's not live now I choose another NVR okay a different one it can be in the other side of the world and I can choose pictures recordings actually from that NVR and I can play back simultaneously records from two different NVRs and basically I can do that up until 16 different devices so for example I have uh, two cameras from one NVR a few from the other DVR and let's take another from one camera everything simultaneously now that camera okay I have I thought I won't have because it's a camera but I guess it has an SD card inside so um, if you want to play back and forth, you can of course choose it, choose the camera, and you can go play back and forth with the time. Very easy, very simple to use. Now, one more thing I wanted to see is uh, actually I wanted to show you is the capability that we have to play 16 channels straight out of record. So how do we do that? Just press the demo room and VR or each and every uh, device that we have that uh, has recordings. Just play the, the play button, press the play button. We choose 16 cameras. And then let's go to a different time of the day where we have some normal recordings and give it a few seconds. There we go. Okay, now adding to that, we can choose a different DVR and take his playbacks and play simultaneously. So I have playbacks from different NVRs, from different devices, all together simultaneously. Now I've just set here something. I want you to take a look at the upper right corner where it says bike exit. Now, right now it is at five, five bikes, right? But when the bike comes, take a look at this, the counter changes to six. So basically, the camera can count, as we saw previously on the NVR webinar, uh, but the application can tell us uh, we can see that counting happens on the NVR, doesn't matter if it is a human or a bike. Now, now something else I can do here is uh, I can select all of the cameras 
and all of the objects I can even leave only the human but it doesn't really matter and I can uh, filter out by type so I can I can uh, choose what I'm searching for do I search for face detection or face recognition or sterile area line crossing by the way if you want to know more about the DDA options all of the sterile and the line crossing and all of those things and really deeply go into the settings and how to uh, how to set all of those things up then there will be a different uh, seminar that Tal is going to do uh, about the DDA so it's worth seeing of course so let's say face detection okay of course we can choose multiple things so let's go for the face detection and the sterile area start searching half a second passes and then we can see immediate results and of course we can see what is the type of analytic that we had was that a face detection right here like here once I press it I can see that it is a face detection nice and I can see uh, the object type is a human face next event I have another human face that was detected the next event is another human face and I have a point because one day okay right now we have the type you see the type has changed from face detection to sterile area so this camera basically we cannot see the line here but there is a line that um, that um, says that from here on this is a sterile area and once someone crosses this line this event takes place also those things will be explained uh, much more deeply in the upcoming TALS webinar so as you can see we have a lot of different options from the NVR from the application a lot of a lot of different things that we can do and uh, we mostly we said more most of uh, the, most of the things that I wanted to say I said I'm just going to finish by uh, showing you the capabilities of our fisheye camera which is coming up next so hold it with me first of all we're going to have to again identify where the camera sits and there it is now the different options that we have for the fish eye camera is uh, very varied so let's have a look and what are the capabilities are first of all once I press this button right here the button that turned red this is the fish eye button immediately it gives me much more uh, options to operate so let's have um, better definition so we can have a better picture okay now we are in the fish eye menu let's twist the camera and let's see what I can do from here first of all the camera spins automatically so this is uh, just a simple beautiful thing that we can do in stores and we can cancel it now double click on the camera takes me into the room itself so right now I am inside the room and I can see everything around it I can walk around like as if I was inside the room even though I am inside now second thing I can do I can turn it into cylinder mode so basically I can see the outside and the inside of the room very smoothly second thing back and forth back and forth I can twist it and I can see the front of the camera and the other side of the camera so I'm like a teacher I have eyes in my back now the second thing I have four images but not just images those are PTZs right I can control each and every one of them separately and the most fun thing that exists ever I will get up for this basically I can use the gyroscope I use the gyroscope of my phone to control and wherever I look I can see the picture changes changes wherever I look I can see the picture changes according to the phone's direction so I hope you enjoyed my webinar I was David it was very nice to be with you I hope you enjoyed yourself and uh, let's meet up in the next webinars have a good day everyone